So today I'm just making uh, my characters from a book that I have into gotcha characters. The book is called A Wolf and a Ghost. I know, such a basic name. But anyways, the first step is Shady. Now, I realized going into this that this was going to be super difficult because nearly... Every single one of my characters that are in this darn book, besides two, which I will get to later, have fades. Or shifting shades in their hair. Now, what did I do? I still did this, and this was painful. This was so hard to do. It was so annoying. <sighs> but anyways... <laughs> I just blanked on what to say. I'm not going to spoil anything because, one, I'm the author, and two, I want you to go read the darn thing, so I'm not going to spoil anything, but I will give you basic information about each character. Shady is 25 and is a guy. I don't care if people yell at me if you say, oh, he's a girl. No, he's a guy. I literally gave him abs. Literally, go to the updates. He is a guy. Thank you. Literally, my commissioner called me and was like, Is Shady a girl or a boy? I can't tell. I gave all my characters skinny waists. That's how I am in real life. <sighs> Anyways. Putting that aside, Shady has an older brother, Fade, who we'll get to next. And is around an average person. He did well in school. He was an honors off because yes. And became an exorcist, which is basically the best job in their world. Basically, wolves and wolves accidentally got combined like millions and millions of years ago. Combined with humans, obviously. Yes, they do have skin colors. I'm too lazy to color them. And I don't know what to, what colors to give them. But just know, all of them are extremely pale. Because most of them don't get enough sunlight. But anyways. And ghosts accidentally broke the seal and have been staying in this world for far too long than they need to be, and exorcists have been around for hundreds, even thousands of years to stop them. In modern day, it's a very high and high paying job. So, eh. And also, his family owns a business. And he does have a loving father and a not so loving mother. Her his mother loves his brother more than he, than she loves him. His dad died a year back mysteriously. Which is odd because he was only 54, I think. I don't remember how old I made him. Or even, I, even, or even if I gave him an age. Hmm. I don't know, his age is 54 now. But anyways... Yeah, that's shady, and basically a background of the whole book. You should really go read it. It's really good. I worked really hard on it. Yay. Alright, so enjoy this last little bit. Bye! <laughs> Okay, and next up we have Fade, 
who is Shady's older brother, and he's 30. And no, he's not wearing a hat. That's just part of his natural hair. I don't know why, but I, some people think that he's wearing a hat. And also, the powder that's by his side is meant to stun ghosts. And no, it's nothing bad, and it can affect hum his species, base or humans. I don't know what they're called. Wolf humans? I don't know. I don't have a name for them. Mm. They, may they may never have a name, or they would just be called humans, because they just have wolf features, but they're still completely human. But anyways, his fade is still difficult, like Shady's, but the next one is going to be super easy. It's going to be the easiest one. A sigh of relief. But after that, it's only going to go downhill from there. Fade was a huge prodigy in his life in the entirety of his life. And he still is after the event of the book. But the reason why is that is because you should go read the book. Find out. I'm leaving you on suspense anyways. So go on. Go pause this video and read it. You back yet? You probably didn't leave and you're probably going to wait until after this video to go read it. Or you're just sitting around and waiting for the audiobook for the release, which I am doing, but it's going to take some time and it's probably going to be released after I finish the whole book, which I believe I'm going to probably finish by the end of July. Or the be very, very beginning of August, depending on how long it's going to take me to write chapter 14 and 15. It's probably going to be the second week of August, or like a few days after August 4th, because that's because that's my parents' anniversary. Which I would like for them to do something nice. But anyways, enjoy this speed run of Making Fade. up this is koi the easiest one out of all of them my gosh <sighs> like i said earlier it's only going to get downhill and worse from here koi is a 200 year old ghost that comes from japan she has a higher po pitched voice like this yes i can literally do the voice of koi I have to read this whole book out for you, and she's one of the main characters, obviously. So, I have to make her voice a little bit more unique, so that she stands out for the rest of the characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She has to stand out from the rest of the characters, because... She's going to be speaking so much, and I can't do a really more deeper voice for her. More deeper voice than deeper voice for Shady, because my voice is already very naturally deep. Haha, <laughs> thanks puberty. Also, YouTube keeps thinking I'm a child. I'm going into high school. Uh, whatever. But, yes, Koi is 200 plus years old and is not from America. No, she's from Japan, but moved over here to America a little bit after she died. She's probably lived here for around 150 years, I believe. But she really only stayed in Virginia, which is where the book is taking place. But whatever. Enjoy.
Next up, we have Sunless, the worst freaking character ever. She's one of the meanest and rudest characters I've ever written, and I just want... And I'm so happy that I get to make her my new punching bag after... After Fade, obviously. Fade is a mama's boy. Why? Shady is a... Is a daddy's boy. I don't know what to call them. Anyways. <sighs> she is the worst. She is the worst. That's why there's a huge scar on her face. She's the worst. And deserves it. I may write a small backstory for it, but I know she got it during an accident in her early 20s when she first started working for Shady and for Shady for the family business. Before marrying, uh, before marrying Dim, who is Shady, Shady and Fade's dad. She has done a lot of nasty things to Dim, but that's just barely compared to what she did to Shady. Oh boy. Chapter 10. Man. That is a lot to handle. But I'm really happy with it. She's based off some people I don't like. Like, two very specific people. Hmm. I wonder if, if, if they're ever going to read this book. Well, it's really just mainly one person. But I wonder if they're ever going to read this book. If they do, that's going to be extremely funny. Also... In the drawing, the patch, the scar on her face is gray, but in the video it's red. I decided that it was going to be red because it was a burn mark, a burn scar, if you will. I think I forgot that Todoroki and Zuko already had this, so no Zuko or, or Todoroki co jokes in the comments. Anyways, enjoy. couldn't do was Dim's little earrings meant to represent Shady and Fade. And I'm kind of mad about that, but also it would have been way too difficult for me to do because there's they don't have little items for that. And so that just is... Mm. And the big splotch is related to why he mysteriously disappeared. Very interesting. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna reveal what it is. Go watch, go read the book. Now, go read it, go read it. Or wait till this video is finished and give me a couple of views. I'll link the full story, the full book, down in the description or whatever is posted. I'm very, very excited for the final two chapters and also very, very sad. I don't want this book to end, but it's going to have to. But anyways, enjoy.
forgot to record him, but he looks ugly. So, continuing on. That's everyone, okay? Bye!